Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how we can use the autopilot in the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. The airplane is currently located at St. Just Airport. Uh, flight plan has been already programmed. So I'm gonna accelerate uh, throttle. And let's see if the uh, aircraft uh, wants to come to us. Need to do it again, right? Because you need to press the letter C if you want to uh, say make sure that you're can control the airplane and of course it's a bit hard because now you need to say fly or change the opposite direction if you want to uh, stay in the center of the ru runway stall. stall so let's go inside makes it easier um, as you can see flight plan has already been programmed um, so that's not something we have to worry about uh, Shows already on the uh, on the map on the center, so we need to uh, need to make a turn. So I'm gonna confirm. With the ATC, and the airplane is located uh, to the how well, need to think to the uh, southwest coast of. Uh, England or the UK and it's one of the I would say marked airports with a with a star so we're gonna change the yield damper a bit I would say a bit not too much because we want to continue to climb so what you see is if we would focus on the, the autopilot piece, the autopilot piece is uh, above the center of the, uh, the center screen. And that's only this part, right? So if I would zoom in a bit. Um, so what you can do is you can uh, set the heading, set the course, uh, you can use navigation mode, the heading mode, and these are the buttons which you can use to uh, change those uh, things. Uh, banking. So banking mode has to do with the, the turn you can make, right? Uh, if you're gonna do a full half banking mode, then it will, I would say, make a steeper bank, as I understood. Then we've got the autopilot mode itself, uh, the yule damper, uh, altitude, uh, virtual, vertical speed, I should say, uh, the VMV mode, and the flight control and the speed. So let's first uh, look what our aircraft is doing. This looks like it's uh, keep turning. But that's not too bad as long as we are climbing, that's okay. So, what you will see is the altitude, which you can see uh, here, is currently set to zero. So, once we change the knob here, you'll see it will increase. So, let's set it to uh, let's say 5000 feet. That's fine. The other thing you can see here is the heading. And the heading is currently set to 360, and you can change it by using this button. So if I change the course here, you can see it. Uh, it goes here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to the uh, say to the direction of the uh, destination airport. That will make sure that it's set to a uh, heading of uh, 48 degrees. And once we've done that, we can switch on the autopilot. So we can switch it on, you can see a light uh, burning here and that also makes sure that the uh, flight director is switched on. Then we're going to use the uh, heading mode. Can I call this transmission of ATC. And we're going to switch on the flight control mode, the FLC mode, because that ensures we're making a climb, as you can see starting to climb now and once we're at uh, 5000 feet we'll stop climbing and we'll uh, level off there so what are the other things you can see well if we go to the uh, left display you can see several things are now uh, added here so the first thing is the heading this is the mode where the autopilot is in so it uses a heading currently if we would change it to uh, nav mode then make sure that you're setting the correct CDI uh, source 
in this case it should be set to uh, GPS in that case. AP tells us that the autopilot is switched on, FLC mode uh, tells us hey flight control mode is on and we'll try to climb and uh, keep a speed of 112 uh, knots. So you can see a blue arrow here and the, soon, or the closer we will get by the 5000 feet uh, it will start blinking eventually. So make sure that the uh, altimeter is set correctly, because if the altimeter is set incorrectly, uh, it will well it will climb to 5,000 on the display, but actually you're not flying on 5,000 feet. So be aware of that. So what's the other option? Uh, instead of using the heading, is uh, to use the navigation mode, and uh, you can press uh, nav, and uh, of course the light will start burning, and then it will start using the uh, GPS signal and will fly directly to the uh, beacon which we uh, configured in the flight plan and that can be seen using the flight plan you can see the flight plan is here so we're flying to EG uh, DC or Echo Golf uh, Delta Charlie and now we did that you can see a change happening here so on top of it it will say hey uh, GPS is now the uh, way in where we decide to in which direction the airplane goes so fine and in the meantime you can see that the L2 hold mode has been switched on that's something in which the airplane does automatically it starts blinking now as you can, can see so it starts blinking and once it's at uh, 5000 feet it will level up there so that's fine but what are the vertical speed modes then? Well, the vertical speed modes can be used to either, uh, say, configure our pre-determined climb boat or a decent rate. Uh, so I will, I will wait till the uh, airplane is uh, level off on uh, 5,000 feet, and then we will uh, use the vertical speed or set a different altitude, and then use the vertical speed mode uh, to a lower value. The VMV mode can be used if your flight plan contains altitudes. Uh, as you currently see, uh, there was an altitude here, but it was the start altitude. Uh, what you could do in your flight plan is configure altitudes uh, if you're visiting multiple waypoints, and then it will try to, let's say, go to those uh, altitudes uh, during the flight. But for now, it's uh, not used. So it's at 5000 as you can see. So now we're gonna uh, decrease the altitude to uh, 4000. And what you see is that the altitude here st still stays at four uh, at three at 5000 feet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do switch on the vertical speed and we're gonna decrease the climb. And if we look, close, look closely here, you can see that the value changes. So we're now uh, decreasing with 400 feet uh, per minute. Not too much, but enough. And you can change that to whatever you want, right? So you can see that the VS mode has now kicked in because it's now being displayed or it's not displaying VS minus 400 feet per minute. And it's all S and Alt S means Alt selected because we're going to the 4000 feet at least. That's the ID. So what you would normally see is that once the airplane is again uh, coming close to the 4000 feet, it will start blinking here, and then it should level off automatically. And speed one, uh, we didn't use it yet but you can use it to switch from uh, max to knots, but that's not really useful in this case. Sometimes you, it's useful, right, if you're used to max and you want to use the flight control mode, because the flight control mode, as you just saw, uh, by default shows the uh, speed in knots. If you want to see it in max, then you can use this button. The old damper is uh, switched off. Uh, as far as I read documentation, it should be uh, should be on. But as you can see, it's not. I would say it does not allow you to s to switch it on in this mode. Um, so that's good. And then we've got the X for which stands for transfer, uh, but and that's 
why would you want to do that? Well, in that case, you are switching over the, uh, the autopilot functionality to the uh, right side of the airplane. Um, so we can do that. Uh, although I don't think much will change, to be honest. Uh, I tried playing around with it, but I don't see, I didn't see much uh, differences. So then you might ask, okay, hey, why are those, uh, or why are we not discussing the uh, approach and uh, back course mode? Because then we need to, I would say, really come close to the other airport and then we can select an approach. And based on that, you can switch on the approach mode, which will try to capture the glide scope. And then we'll make sure that you're, I would say, coming very close to the, uh, to the runway. Uh, back course has to do with if you would set up a, a, a waypoint and you're flying away from the waypoint, you can switch on the back course mode, then it will invert the um, the mode or the way the autopilot is reacting so what you would normally do is you would configure for example using an ILS approach you would set or set the VOR or the, to the uh, beacon at the end of the runway but in some cases that's not possible as far as I read and then you can use the back course mode and then it will then you can uh, let's say use the beacon which is at the start of the runway which would normally ensure or result in that you're crashing, right? Because it's trying to uh, capture that glide scope. So as you can see, in the meantime, the uh, the airplane has leveled off to uh, 4,000 feet. So the same thing, of course, you can do with uh, increase, right? You can say, okay, hey, let's go back to uh, 4,500. You can switch on the VS mode vertical speed mode and then you can change the climb rate to 400 feet per minute and you can see it here also and now we'll start to climb to uh, 4500 feet what are other useful options well one of them is for example if you want to switch from uh, navigation to heading mode uh, in some cases, if you didn't use the uh, heading mode prior, uh, I would say earlier during your flight, you might want to sync it. And the thing it, what it does, it simply syncs with the uh, active course or active heading, I should say. Uh, so currently it was set to 47. So once we push the button, you can see that the heading is also updated to uh, 47 degrees. still climbing we're almost there and you can see it already captured the the glide scope a bit right because or it not, did not capture the glide scope sorry but picked up the uh, signal of the glide scope because you can see the uh, the icon moving around here it's almost now in the center a little bit further thinking about the course mode I think the extra button has to do with the course uh, based on this panel uh, and the course one has to do with the course on this panel but th that's just a wild guess you need to check it out uh, if that, that's really the case so we're again at 4500 feet uh, you can see it's above the uh, glide scope right so we should decrease the uh, the altitude uh, so what you can, what we can try for now, just for fun, is see, okay, hey, if we press approach, what will happen? Well, in this case, nothing will happen because it didn't capture the localizer yet. Uh, so if it didn't capture the localizer yet, you will see that the uh, letters uh, Golf Share are displayed here, but it didn't, or it didn't intercept it because if it would intercept the glide scope, uh, these uh, letters will turn to green and then it will really start to capture the glide scope and really start to follow the glide scope so we can switch it off again because it doesn't make any sense and the cool thing about this is that you see that once you press approach it will change the cdi to a localizer one instead of uh, the gps uh, which is the default uh, method currently 
don't forget to switch on the nav mode again or the heading mode because it will be switched off once uh, you select the other mode, the approach mode. So here ends this, uh, let's say, how to. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then use the comment box below the video. And if you'd like to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.